Um, my name is Rosie Batty. I'm the 2015 Australian of the Year. Um, I'm a, an advocate for family violence and I work very uh, much in the family violence field looking to um, lobby for systemic change. Family violence has a significant issue, is, is a significant influence on the child's well-being and absolutely can contribute to mental health issues. Um, you know, extreme anxiety, attention deficit disorders, depression, behavioural issues. Um, they, they are significant um, trauma-related um, you know, I'm not a, a psychologist, but absolutely, they have permanent, it's permanent damage to a child's well-being, and that is why it's incredibly important for the school community, rather than punitive punishments, that um, you know, to actually work with the children to understand what are the feelings behind the behaviours, why is, are the children suffering at school and struggling. Um, and you know that simply by mentoring and understanding that they 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 are may have some problems, um, that can be you know a, a, an integral point for a child to um, to have the opportunity to change and and to seek um, that correct support through counselling, through therapy, through through different um, you know areas. The school has a responsibility because, of course, it, it, you know there are one in four children affected by violence. Of course, a, a child that's affected by violence doesn't have to be directly affected, but clearly a violent household has a huge impact on the child's development and well-being. So disruptive behaviours, behavioural problems, um, children who are isolated and, and clearly struggling to make friends, um, you know what is what is happening in that little person's life, and and how children don't have a voice. It's very very difficult for them to actually share their problems and disclose violence in the home, either, you know, either from fear or from not wanting to get to their parents into trouble. So it's really difficult for a, a family for a school to know how to approach this. However, when you have at least one in four children, and in some schools that will be more, um, we do need to know clearly what the strategies and processes are. So my recommendation is that the, we always are aware of the 1800 RESPECT line that we can um, recommend to our victim families, um, but also to link in and have a relationship with the family violence services in your local area so that you have a strategy that you understand is effective in supporting uh, victims of family violence and how to perhaps deal with perpetrators um, um, within the school community too. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think teachers are adequately educated at this point. I really couldn't say. Um, that's why when I talk to the conference I don't assume that. Um, and it is a, a responsibility that the school community most definitely does have um, because there are, you know, it's one in three women that are affected by violence, one in four children, and two women a week being murdered. So the issues of family violence um, are significant, and, you know, each school has to understand that it will be absolutely. Um, you know, a factor in their school community. So they do need to recognise the issue and they do need to go out of their way to fight, to, to work out what is, are their school strategies and processes. And I think the 1800 RESPECT um, resource is certainly a good starting point to, to, to begin to understand the part that they can play and what they can indeed do. We're looking for every school to have an accredited whole of school approach for respectful relationship programs to be introduced into every school across the country. So um, I'm not the person that puts together the school programs, but it's really important that schools already do a lot of work in this area. Some schools do an exceptional job. 
However, we need the same consistent approach from every school and it has to come from a whole of school approach where it's not just telling children what they should say or how they should act. It's actually by the whole of the school modelling it um, as a community uh, with gender equality approaches.